when I was going to high school, and any time I wanted the ice cream or something, I used to go to the drugstore. And I became very good friend with a pharmacist by, name of, well, by the name of Mr. Pendergrass. And he would say, Moss, you know what? Why don't you become a pharmacist? And that was the start of the whole event. And I decided I'd become a pharmacist. The first year in experience was uh, something that I found out that in college you were on your own. You did your own studying and you had to prepare your lessons as such and be ready when the time came for examination or otherwise. But other than that, your fulfillment or class study was on your own. I lived with uh, two other students in an apartment whose aunt had a uh, home there and it, they uh, established an apartment for three of us to stay and stayed there about two and a half years. And at that place where we did our own cooking, irony and everything, whatever you could think of. You missed your family, but uh, you know, you had to accept circumstance you had a duty to perform, to fulfill your family desire and a goal to establish. So your mind was concentrated on your education. At the time when we had to leave school to go to camp, it was General DeWitt's or uh, uh, Executive Order 9066 that all you know Japanese uh, people had to be leaving the West Coast. I was an American citizen, I was in the Army Reserve, and to be told to be evacuated was unbelievable and incomprehensible. When the war actually broke out, he gathered all of us Japanese students and said, you're an American citizen, you should not be bothered. So anything that we could do to help you, let him and the faculty know. The Dean, Daniels, instructed all the professors to make sure that we in the senior class were able to complete our courses as soon as possible so that we would be able to complete our college degree. And that is exactly what happened. He was a father-like individual. He cared for each one of his students. Whenever we did have a problem, we'd go to him and he would try to solve the problem right there and then. Once we finished our college with this, our studies being completed, then we uh, took our state board because our dean made arrangement that, that once we finished our college career and uh, acquired our degree, he made sure that we would complete likewise our California State Board exam so that we could become pharmacists. And once that was uh, fulfilled, and which we did incidentally, we, he made arrangement for us with the Provost Marshal for us to go home to our family still here in Fresno, Clovis, California. So I came home and joined my family. After that, Together with the family, we went to the internment camp in Poston 2, Arizona. Without Dr. Daniels' leadership and understanding and his compassion, maybe things could be a little different too. But he was such a good guy that he made us what we are today. <laughs>